What's changed in the last 10 years is you now have institutional buyers. These guys were not around 10 years ago. There's companies that are buying tens of thousands of houses every year and they're paying all cash and they are largely ignored. Everybody thinks, well, you know, don't talk to the I buyers, don't talk to the institutional buyers. I mean, if your business was simply doing nothing but in your market, but was find out exactly what the institutionals want, institutional buyers want to buy and turn it around and going and creating the marketing to generate deals that you knew you could flip to them and you were in control of the profit you could make, you have a business over and over and over. And not only do you have a business, but you have a business that is highly recession resilient because your exposure is almost zero. If you wholesale it, I don't actually have to buy the deal. All I'm doing is assigning my contract. I'm putting something under contract. I know my buyer wants it. I'm going to come and mark it up 25 grand. I'm going to assign my contract to it. My exposure and risk there is whatever it costs me to generate the deal. Almost nothing. Now, on the other hand, if I go off and buy an actual asset, arrange hard money or private money, I've got a six to nine month timeline on doing a flip or whatever. My exposure under these types of this climate might still be low, but it's there. Mm -hmm. I can for sure get caught. If I go and do a burr strategy, I'm still rehabbing the property. I'm still renting the property. And now my debt element of when I'm going to refinance just changed very dramatically in the last six months. Thought I was going to be able to re refinance at three. Now I've got to refinance at six or seven. If you don't think that changes that strategy dramatically, it 100% does. Gone. So I think that what people should be doing is really focusing on, you know, really understand wholesaling and how to, how to limit exposure and create real good cash flow. Definitely make sure that you are being much more conservative on any fix and flips you're doing. What happens if you, you know, you got a flip that you were projecting you were gonna sell for 800 grand? What happens if you have to sell it for six? If you're not thinking like that, then you have no business doing a fix and flip, period. Because it could happen. A 20% haircut on the pricing correction could happen. And if it does, if you're screwed, then don't put yourself in that situation. Same thing on the, on the burst strategy. If you're focused on wholesaling and you're focused on creative deal structure, Acquiring properties with, you know, subject to's, creative type deals, mm -hmm. or even selling deals with seller financing, you're going to be just fine. If you're not focused on those areas, then you need to get focused.